What's up guys, Matty Ice here, and today we will be swooning for some new beverages. That's right guys, we got swoon here. If you guys have never heard of swoon, swoon is actually a zero sugar monk fruit sweetened drink. Five calories. Whoa, that's pretty good. <laughs> you might say to yourself, because most sodas are a couple hundred, so... Looking at these, um, this one's peach iced tea flavor, by the way, and this one is half and half, as in iced tea and lemonade. So an Arnold Palmer almost. And yeah, um, it says they have um, nothing artificial inside of them, co-founded by someone who is type 1 diabetic. So makes sense why they'd want to drink, because it's very hard to control a disease like diabetes when you have sugar concerns. Looking at these, um, they are a little bit different. 24 milligrams of caffeine on both. Um, our peach tea has black tea, peach juice. Wow, that's second ingredient peach juice. That's pretty good. Um, it's, it is concentrate though. Natural flavor, citric acid, monk fruit extract, exorbitant acid, malic acid, and lactic acid. And then our half and half is going to be water, lemon juice concentrate, black tea, natural flavor, lemon oil, and then blah, blah, blah. All the other stuff. So, seems like a good mixture of things in here let's uh you know let's just crack them open and give them a try i want to do half and half first because i am a huge arnold palmy fan you know coming from the land of uh dum dum golf and whatnot does anyone remember that uh espn commercial where he goes up to the fountain and fills up iced tea and then lemonade and they're like whoa that was awesome uh so here we go lemonade iced tea half and half Mmm, smells dirty and weird. I did buy these quite a while ago. I think these were Best Buy, let's see, 10, 18, or 24. Um, so, no, this one's still good. Okay. I was worried. I bought these like eight months ago and I just forgot about them. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. Wow. Wow, that was oddly good. It reminds me of the Lipton iced tea boxes I used to get for my mom in my lunchbox at school. Not as sweet, and the lemon flavor on there does creep up after you drink it and kind of stick to your palate. That is really good. And I think for just having five calories, that tastes awfully darn close to a half and half. And it tastes a lot better than most diet half and half. I have had. Okay, next, peach tea. Little known fact, my favorite flavor of Snapple growing up was not lemon. It was diet peach. That was what my mom would get from, you know, Sam's Club or Giant Eagle or wherever she bought them from, and I love those. I could drink the entire case. They were so good, and I, that's weird for me. I usually, you know, go for the lemon or something a bit more sour tart. All right. Nice little... Crack pop hiss. Oh, that smells just like peaches. That smells good. Oh my goodness. Wow. As good as the half and half was, that peach iced tea was amazing. Absolutely delicious. The first and pretty much the only flavor is peaches. Very clean, yet distinct. Not overtaken by artificial sweetness, and the tea does not override it. Now, the tea does come across as slightly bitter on the palate, especially towards the end after you finish drinking. Anytime you have monk fruit sweetener, it's got a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. But this one, wow, these are good. Guys, I might start drinking these on the regular. That's how good they are. And, wow, um, just, you know, I can't think of a better way to, you know, be a little bit more healthy and drink something with low glycemic, you know, index that's going to not spike your blood sugar, but also provide some great taste. So, if you're watching calories and you want something a little bit better for you, and you don't mind monk fruit sweetener, give it a try, guys. I think they're actually really good, and I would highly recommend them. All right, guys, that does it for this one. We will catch you next time. And, as always, have a good night.